Hi, this is Wayne with Sears Parks Direct. Today we're going to talk about an ERIF error code on a refrigerator. The ERIF error code indicates you have a broken ice fan. The ice fan blows air through ducts in the door to cool the ice maker compartment. In some situations, excessive moisture can cause a short in the ice fan circuit board. When the ice fan shorts, it can damage components in your refrigerator's main electronic control board. You'll need to replace both parts to resolve the issue. We're going to replace the ice fan first. Unplug the refrigerator. Open the freezer door. Push in the two tabs to remove the top wire drawer. Pull out the bottom freezer drawer basket. Remove the rail covers and then remove the front rail screws. Pull off the front door along with the white rails. Remove the screws on both sides of the drawer. Pull out the lower side rails and gear assembly. Remove the upper shelf rail screws and pull out the upper shelf rail. Repeat this on the other side. Remove the screw that holds the evaporator cover in place. These two screws hold the ice fan in place, so the ice fan will be loose when you pull out the evaporator cover. Remove the ice fan screws. Pull the evaporator cover forward and disconnect the fan wire harness. And then you can pull the old ice fan out. Install the new fan in the evaporator cover and reinstall the screws. Now we just need to put it all back together. Plug the fan wire harness back in. Push the evaporator cover into place and reinstall the mounting screw. Reinstall the upper wire drawer rails. Reinstall the lower drawer side rails and gear assembly. Reinstall the freezer door. Reinstall the rail covers. Drop the freezer drawer basket back into place. Reinstall the top wire drawer. Now we'll replace the electronic control board on the back of the refrigerator. With the refrigerator still unplugged, remove the mounting screws and pull off the cover. Disconnect all of the wires from the old electronic control board. If you take a picture, you'll know how to reconnect them later. Release the locking tabs and pull the old control board out. Snap the new electronic control board into place. Reconnect all of the control board wires. Reinstall the cover. Now it's safe to plug the refrigerator back in. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe.